a blogger is um let's see it's not a fully let me say coded website but some way somehow it's a partial website it has codes which has been automatically generated so you just do um, drag and drop to design your blogger you just put things there you just install templates template of your choice connect your domain then off you go you've created a blog website you can use you you can create any blog website you wish on the internet so let's say you want to be a blogger for news or some businesses or you want you want to create your own personal blogger to actually manage your business you are selling stuff so you want to post it on on a blogger so that people you give them the link they will go there go through your your stuffs then call you make purchase yes it's for you you can manage it delete things from there add new things from there you might also want to create for someone to take something like some small coins that one too you can do it's a very simple short practical session and without wasting much time ladies and gentlemen let's start Right, so very simple. You go straight to the point. You open Google, our normal Google, google.com. Then you just type in blogger, blogger, just blogger, and press enter. Right, now you can see you, you can have a lot of information here, a lot of information here. So just Click on the first link, create a unique and beautiful blog easily. So click on the first one. So you just click on this one. Okay. Um, before before we get there those who opened those who open the google make sure you are signed in sign in with your google account so you sign in with your google account that means you are you you have a google account being signed in before you go to google then click on blogger to sign in right now with your Google account. Oh, um. Share my screen. Those, please, following with your computers or their phones or something, please sign in. So, yeah, I've signed in with my Google account. Now, when you sign in with your Google account, automatically, this one will open for you, this page. Though some of you might not have signed in with their Google account. So let me also demonstrate those people to how it's going to be shown to you. Let me use a different browser. If you've not signed in, right so let's continue 
now i'm showing those people who are yet to sign in who didn't sign in what you should be seeing um where is my brother now if you are yet to sign in then you go to google so you see here sign in please click on it and sign in before sign in with your google accounts before if you don't sign in then you just go you just type blogger to come you click on create a unique and beautiful blog easily you click on that one then since you've not signed in this is what you should be seeing if you didn't sign in before you you should be seeing publish your passions your way great this is what you'll be seeing so let me read please sign in at your google before you proceed okay so let's go and continue any question so far before we, we proceed anyone lost right so here i've signed in when you sign in before you you click on create blogger it's going to bring you to some sort of this this interface right any question before we proceed now when you are done when you when it brings you let, let go when you brings you here you just come to the upper left corner of your screen upper left corner then click on create blog so before this you come to the upper left corner of your screen then you click on create blog create blog here you are going to give your blog name choose a name for your blog so maybe i'll say practice so there's my name for my blog after choosing a name click on next then you you would have to choose your blog address your blog address here means in fact what the link you are going to give to your your customers your friends or whoever you are creating the blog for to visit the blog so here I'll, let's say i'll choose practice coding so i'll say practice coding dot blogspot dot com i've chosen my blog address please it is totally free chosen my blogspot address then you click on save you click on save to so wait for it to save hello yes please can you go over again like start again all right mercy thank you you're welcome so the beginning is you go to google just google.com you open google then make sure your google account is signed in so sign in from the upper right corner of your google account click on sign in to sign in at the upper right corner after that go to your google address bar then type blogger then press enter okay after that just click on the first resource that's create a unique and beautiful blog easily 
click on that now after clicking on that it will land you to search a page go to the upper right corner of your blog upper right upper okay as i'm facing my screen is my upper left corner so here go here and click on create blog you click on it it will tell you to choose a name for your blog what name do you want to call your blog so you choose a name for it so um let's see any name um so practice um hard I click next it tells you to choose the address for your blog the address means the domain name notes everything you are doing here is totally free you so you are free to choose any domain name, but note it's going to be end with dot blogspot dot com so you just use any link you sometimes you try and use any address it will be in red color so let's say i'm choosing run dot block so it is telling me sorry this block address does not exist it means they are not accepting this address so you can go on so let's say running um business so you can continue to choose any any um address unless the the address here this thing here turns blue without showing any red color when it turns blue here the address at the top here turns blue it means it is accepted and you can click on save to continue any questions so far right i clicked so click on save from there then you will land on this page after typing in your block address click save and it will land you to this page any question right very simple now you have so many features here we are going to go through each of them. Any question? Who has not been able to reach here? Those using phones too, you can do it, please. Do along. Those using phones, do along. Sir, please, the address name. Okay, so the address name, choose any address name you want, but make sure it is not in red color. When it's in red, it means you have to choose another address name. Okay. So choose your address name, then click on save. It will land you to this page. In fact, this is the back end of your website, your blog website. This is where you'll be posting things and people will be seeing it at the front end. If you are if you are lost, ask me. So ask me any question, then I will answer you before we continue. Please. If you want me to go over, tell me I'll go over before we continue. Yes, sir, please, I would like it to go over. Right, okay. Now, it's very simple. You are creating a blog website for yourself, for your friends, for your business, for anything, or for your organization, or for your club. You want to be a blogger. That's fine. Being a blogger, it doesn't take you to pay any amount to be a blogger. It takes you just um, some 10 minutes to be a blogger. Right now you open any address any any web browser you have then type in google.com first procedure second procedure make sure you are signed in so you can see my logo i'm signed in here you are not signing sign in there click on sign in and provide your details to be signed in you should be seeing 
your 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 logo or something the top here now after that go to the google address bar and type blogger then press enter okay now when it opens the first link does create a unique and beautiful blog easily click on that one perfect it will land you to this page any question please right now after landing you to this page go here to the upper left corner of your screen and click on create blog so i click on it then it tells you to choose a name for the blog you are coming to build or for the website you are coming to build take note you don't need any coding knowledge to build a blog website so you just enter the name of your blog so let me see practice coding very simple then you click on next after that it will tell you to choose the address of your blog so the address here means what people are going to use to visit your blog so let's say ama.blogspot.com mybusiness.blogspot.com any name but in choosing the address it will ask you or it will tell you if that address is already taken so let's see let's start so let me see my business you see as i'm typing there is this red color you see sorry this block address is not available meaning it is already taken someone has this address my uh, my business so we can choose another maybe i can add another two or three but take note when choosing your blog address make it very let's say nice and memorable like the person can remember it don't make it complex since they are saying it has been taken don't just choose any blog address think through it before you choose so maybe i'll say coding or blue hack club okay so blue hack club is not taken by anyone so blue hack club dot blogspot so just type the blue the name this one will automatically add to it dot blogspot dot com take note you don't need to pay any money right after that just click on save when you see that it has been accepted when it's been accepted you can see the address at the top here will change to blue the address at the top here has changed to blue and the save button is now on so you just click on it then you save it any question up to here right let's continue now when you click after the address and you click on save it will land you to this page this is where your journey begins this is the back end of your blog website this is where you are going to post things this is where you are going to view the stats the number of people who have been visiting your blog this is where you are going to actually enable the monetization of your blog this is where you are actually going to um set up the layout this is where you are going to add pages this is where you are going to actually make settings on how many posts should be shown on your blog site per, per time this is your back end of your website any question up to here by now i guess everyone is on the same page with me deborah
please, what does it mean um, if they say your subdomain is not available? Um, where are you right now? At which stage? Um, Choosing the address. I've opened it and then, yes. And after I write, I'm choosing the address and then it's processed. Um, a notification came down like subdomain not available, something like that. So you didn't get to this page? Yeah, I'm here. You but then there is like a notification. Okay, don't, don't worry. We will go to, I know where that one is. We will go to it. The subdomain. Okay, we will all right. Okay, thank you. We will set it here. Okay, now on this website, when you get here, in fact, you've actually you are you are fifty percent complete with your blog website. Now click, go here and click on view blog. Click on view blog. So we click on view blog. Your website is online. This is now your website, your blog website is online. When someone goes to this address, practice.coding.blogspot.com, this will open for the person. So let's say, let me copy the link. Then, oh, this is the Zoom link. Okay, so let me copy this link. So when you give the link to someone, it will actually open for the person. So you, you see my, 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 my blog name code practice. I chose practice. And the Google, Google account I'm using, Sharon Daisy is here. So this is the initial template for the blog. Now we are going to go to install templates and make our blog more beautiful from here. Let's go back to our back end. Now we are going to go through all these one by one. Kindly take note of each of them and what they does. I will skip the first one, then start with the second one. Now, the second one talks about posts. When you post something and you want to go and view them, when you click on post, it will list here. Since we, we are yet to wait, let's skip it and we'll come back to that. The next one we are going is stats, meaning statistics. How many people have visited our blog site? and how our blog site is getting traffic. So we will click on it. Then you see here, all time view, the number of persons who have visited one. Today is one, yesterday zero. The whole this month is one because I just visited it. So one, only one person has visited. When you come down, they have, today is the name of my blog, practice, the number of views, I got each day so today is 18 or 19 yeah today is 19 so i had one person this is the graph this is the graph those in data science class you know it so this is the graph so we can use this analytics to make decisions those in data science class now let's continue so all the data all the people being visited and the number of posts you posted will be shown here the number of people who comment on your blog, all the comments will be shown here. We will demonstrate everything. Any question with the stats? Right. Let's move on. So you, the next one is comments. When you click on comments, all the comments, maybe someone went to your blog and says, oh, I didn't find this thing at your blog site, or I didn't find this, mind your business, and mind your post. You are going to get it here at the back end. You are going to get it. You can actually answer the person from here and it will be shown on your blog site. The next one is earnings. 
this is where you actually create something called adsense account when you create the adsense account google google is going to actually analyze your blog make sure you are not stealing someone's things and posting it make sure your content is safe for people then after revision they will tell you oh okay you qualify and check your traffic to you you can't just launch a blog two three weeks four weeks and you apply for adsense no your blog should be getting enough traffic people should be visiting it enough so that when they see all these they will know that oh okay then we are going to award you this so they will start making ads that those ads you've been seeing on people's website advert some will be showing on your website when you when you see ads on people's website don't get bored it's how they would day to they make something small from what um they built so their work is paying them when you when you when you need something from someone's website and you uh, um, faces an ad or advert don't get to just dodge it it's simple so you too you apply ads and what will be showing adverts then they will be paying you um, um based on the terms they go with you that's when your blog starts getting high volume of traffic people start visiting it participating in whatever you are doing on your blog any question here before we move on right the next thing you can do is pages pages here you can create pages on your blog so maybe you want to create contact page about page all the pages whatever our so whatever will come to your mind you want to create some will come to the pages then you immediately you you see something immediately you before we click on the page you see here is post new post immediately you click on the pages it turns a new page so when you click on it a new page will be added very simple now the most one of the most complex features layouts this layout depends on the template you are going to install on your blog site so the layout we have let me close this so the layout we have the site bar we have the search the header bar so you can edit it so you can see the ads the page body the blog post popular post footer everything here you can edit everything here now we go to the theme the theme so in fact you can actually uh, let me refresh it so that the team can be showing okay let me off i'm going to off something um before it's making my internet very slow i'm doing i'm using a protection um on my internet right so now it's off so let's 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 let me refresh it these are templates that should be showing so they give you enough templates um they give you enough template to to actually choose from but we are not going to use any of these templates so don't worry you are going to actually download the template and install a template of our choice now let's move to settings this here you can actually change the name of your blog so you click on title you can change the name of your blog you can click on description to add description to your blog so let's say it's all about coding then you can save it you can change your blog language maybe you are from any francophone country or you're a chinese 
or you are from any anglophone country you can change your blog language now we have adult content maybe your blog you are building a blog for adult content um so you can actually show warnings to people visiting so that they will know what they are visiting you can select this to make your blog available to search engines so that when people searches you on various search engines they can find you now blog address you can also change your blog address here maybe um ladies and gentlemen we will rejoin our class it will end any moment from now then we we'll continue in installing our templates and so on please the coding class check your slack channel i'm posting a new link kindly share in your whatsapp groups and share across the platforms thank you